Sporting Goods Park, just finishing the Step Up for Cancer with the founder, Amy Venturi, and Heather Grady, co-founder of this race, where it's 1,765 stairs to climb, all to raise money for several nonprofits across the board. Yep, we had 25 nonprofits here, and we raised money from everything from advocacy, treatment, um, every type of cancer under the sun. Yeah. And this is a race where it's completely volunteer run, so there's no overhead. So all the proceeds go directly to the nonprofit. Yes, they do. When folks register, they register to get one nonprofit to support, or like my team, you can choose to divide it equally and raise money for every nonprofit. And what an incredible atmosphere because there's so many volunteers out here and people to cheer you on. We've got the cowbells ringing, people spraying you down, and it's a very Race. How did you guys come up for the, with this idea and how did it work? You know, we wanted to do something different. There's so many different cancer organizations within Colorado and there's a lot of different brands and walks. But we wanted to create something that's collaborative and by bringing 45 nonprofits together. What can we do that's different? And so what we've done is create a stair run. 33 rows of stairs, we can walk them, we can run them. So it's for all ages, all of them. What the turnout was today, or how much money we raised? We had about 1,500 people today, and we won't know the numbers until probably tonight or maybe tomorrow. But we're hoping for about 150,000. And folks can still fundraise through the end of October, so the fundraising has not ended yet. Right. So if you didn't make it out today, you can still fundraise, or if you work today, keep fundraising, especially when, like you say, it's for nonprofits across the board. So you're going to have to come out next year and watch for this race. Step up for cancer. It's exploring. Thank you guys. Thank you.